been getting some complaints from the peanut gallery about the belt on our little walking pad here slipping. It is a little bit disconcerting. So I'm gonna kind of take it apart and see if I can figure out what's going on. Thought about looking online to see if there's a manual or something, but that sounds like something that somebody who doesn't know what they're doing would do. Okay, so it was completely unnecessary to do what I've done up until this point. So now I need to put all the screws back in, flip it right side up, and do the proper adjustment that I just saw in the YouTube video. Here are the adjustment places to tighten the belt down here on the end. So if you have this treadmill and the belt starts slipping, that's where you should start. Don't be like me and try to take the whole thing apart. Let's see if this wrench works. Oh, it's the perfect size. They said in the video to do like half turns evenly on each side. So. I wouldn't say they're your greatest achievements. They're great achievements. You've done better since then. <laughs> we'll see the date on some of these. It's okay. You could even do like hipping pull-ups without having to worry about hitting your head on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> this should Where have, do we keep our pilot this should have a pilot hole drill on the other side Sounds and then like you could you, go you just came up with an invention <laughs> see <I'm gonna> <laughs> see the pulsing method what do you think they work out you don't care okay <laughs> we've been worried about they, that forever they like, they like running in those chairs yeah is a non event for them. Okay, 
Okay, the office remodel is, uh, is done for now. We'll test it out when we work out in here in a little bit, but now it's lunchtime. Gotta get a few more client check-ins done. What am I having? I'm having some high fiber tortillas with some chicken thighs, avocado, and barbecue sauce. What do you have over here? Heavy protein shake and a bowl full of veggies and rice. Did you call it a heavy protein shake? <laughs> what does that mean? Heavy protein shake. <laughs> oh, you mean like 30 grams of protein it's a in big it? One. Buttons, what are you having? I had dog food. A lot of people can't have caffeine later in the day. <laughs> but not me. So we're training right now, which is a good segue into talking about doing some free training with Digital Barbell. It's January 2024, and we're doing something kind of crazy. You can come train with us for an entire week for 100% free. You don't have to put in your credit card, you don't have to sign a deal with the devil, nothing like that. We're going to actually set you up in the app that we coach all of our clients in. You're going to see workouts for you in the app, you're going to record your results in the app you're going to upload form check videos and we're going to actually coach you for an entire week for free all you got to do is go to digitalbarbell.com slash free week if you've been curious you've been you know listening to our podcast following us on social media all that kind of stuff and you're like what is it actually like well come find out for free just go to digitalbarbell.com slash free week and we'll coach you for free for an entire week and the point of this free week is to not only get you started and show you what it's like to be coached online but to also give you a little bit of a taste of the digital barbell training philosophy flavor where we combine strength training bodybuilding and conditioning all into one mashup that makes you feel amazing doesn't burn you out and actually can make you look like you work out like her Get in. Good. Headed into town to run some errands. This is, we're recording this on a Thursday. Thursdays are one of our lighter workload days. We kind of like sandwich most of our work in at the beginning and the end of the week. Likely writes all the programming on Mondays. I have more nutrition clients earlier in the week. Uh, we have the podcast to record that comes out on Thursday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays are kind of like balls to the wall with work and creating content and all that kind of stuff. We are in beautiful downtown Wimberley where we live. 
There's always something to see here. There's a woman in a fur coat. Looks like she's picking up an Uber or she was <laughs> hitchhiking. Uh, yeah, I've got a little bar over here. People having some cocktails at quarter to four. But it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs>